It is officially January 27th, which means it is race day. So it's about 6.47 in the morning. Uh, I just finished packing my bag. I'm about to tr pack the truck, wait for my parents to get here. My daughter just woke up, we're getting her ready. And then we'll be heading to the trifecta weekend. It says it's gonna take us about an hour to get there. No traffic, so that's good. Goal is to get there by 8.30, warm up, check in, check out the venue, show you guys the entire venue. And then this video is all geared towards showing you guys what a trifecta weekend looks like. So we made it to the venue. Spartan gods are against us again because it is extremely windy. Perfect weather, but the problem is, is it's like 11 mile per hour wind gust. So it's windy, you can tell. But Adeline's having fun. So that's all that matters. Crew is all here. It's the sport crew. Oh. <laughs> Leading the charge. Little tuna. You ready for it today, Mama? Yeah, you ready? Yeah, that's Okay, all right. She's ready. You like this little You ready, Beth? You ready, Beth? Yeah, that's true. It's nice in here. A lot of our sponsors are making quick work of our new venue. Under two hours for our time.
I got to jump all the way down. Are you ready? I love it. I keep saying there's a reason why I need to know So I'm just about ready to wind down for the night. But let me, before I wind down, let me do a recap of the race, at least Saturday, my thoughts, and then my thoughts moving forward. Um, all in all, race was awesome. Um, venue was legit. Like I said, it was, it was pretty windy as soon as we got there, but the wind was not a factor throughout the entire race. There was certain point, uh, parts of the race where if it was like uphill and windy, um, that was brutal. But for the most part, there was actually times where I, there was no wind and I was sweating, so that was cool. So it, it, it all in all, the weather wasn't too bad. If there was no wind, if there was no wind, it would have been even that much better. But um, i pretty beat up right now uh, to the point where I'm kind of worried about my races tomorrow. Because my goal, again, was to finish all three races and be able to work out on Tuesday healthy with be I'm, I'm okay with being dinged up but I don't want obviously want to get injured um, and there was one obstacle the first eight foot wall that I came to um, I'll show you the clip I basically climbed up it but when I climbed up it, I got to the top and then I pulled my arms up like this and then I basically like pushed myself up and then when I was up at the top I just jumped off the back end um, which was not the smartest thing to do and when I did, I fell, fell on my left knee, kind of awkward, um, and it hurt for probably about 20 feet after I fell. But then I, I walked for a little bit, and then I ran, and I felt fine. So I, it wasn't that big of a deal. But obviously, since I've been sitting, um, since I came home, I took Motrin, I did an ice bath, um, I took a shower, I stretched, rolled out a little bit, kind of tried to stay loose, but I think... Um, the inflammation has set in because when I just stood up right now, my left knee does not feel the best. Um, hopefully I didn't mess anything up, but I think if I would have messed anything up, I would have felt it a lot more. So I think it's just dinged. Um, as for my shoulders though, my shoulders are not feeling good at all. Um, and I don't know if that's from all the, the pulling up. Uh, if you did the... Spartan Beast in Paris. Let me know if your shoulders are killing you. Because like I kept telling Cassie, like my legs and everything don't feel too fatigued right now. After the race, my feet were killing me and my shoulders were just done. Like I was, I was done. And I almost got a cramp in my left thigh. But my dad was telling me that a bunch of people were cramping. So I don't know what that's to do with it. Um, it might have been the fact that like from mile, basically I think it was six no mile eight to 12 was pretty much on the beach of the lake so we were running in beach sand so i don't know if that's what took a, a toll on me um when i got to mile seven though I, I was cruising i thought okay cool i'm making good time i was at running at a 10 minute and eight second per mile pace or something like that the first i think eight miles though there wasn't that many obstacles all the obstacles were pretty much in the last five miles of the race and that's where i really really started feeling i started feeling in my shoulders my back my pace got really slow um i did not stop at all this race so i was super happy with that um downfall though is my uh watch died at mile i think 13 i think it died at mile 13 or something no it died at well since i had to do penalty loops because i think there was five obstacles that i skipped so I did penalty loop. There was no burpees at this one. Absolutely no burpees. Um, but there were some, like the rope climb, totally skipped. Just checked my ego and went straight for the um, the penalty loop. The Tyrone Traverse or whatever. Skipped that one, went straight for the penalty loop. Um, I missed the freaking spear throw. I actually hit the spear or the target dead on, but it didn't stick. So apparently I didn't have enough oomph. Um, and I, th I can't remember the other ones. I know for sure I, I, I skipped like five or six. Oh, the, the multi-rig just ran right by that one. And again, like I said, I was just checking my ego. I really just wanted to see how fast I could do it. Um, uh, I, I'm pretty sure I did it in less than 
three hours. I will put the official time on the screen because as of right now, it's Saturday night. The screen is not post or the the time is not posted. It will probably be posted by Monday, so I I will put it up there. Um, but where my mind's at right now, and it was at it was at the same spot the last time I did the beast, because my my dad said you said that last time. I don't know if I'll ever do a beast again. At this point, I don't know if I'll ever do a Spartan race again. Um, I was driving home and I was thinking about it and, and Spartan, obviously, I got Spartan races tomorrow, but after this weekend, I don't know if I'll do Spartan races anymore. Um, at least not the beast. I might, I might do sprints, but I, I feel like they take a toll on my body a lot more than the DECA, uh, mile and DECA strong did. The, don't get me wrong. When I did those, I was, I was sore and tired, but it was like, I had a good workout and I was ready to work out the next day. And that's the whole reason I do this stuff is so I obviously can challenge myself, but I don't want to destroy my body. And like right now, my body feels beat up and destroyed. And that's not what a feeling that I like. Because like I said, I'm, as for tomorrow's race, my plan right now is I have a feeling I'm going to be doing a lot of penalty loops. Um, I will. I, my ego is going to stay here. I'm not going to force anything. If, if my shoulders feel like this tomorrow, I'm hoping I get a good night rest. And my shoulders will feel 100% tomorrow. Um, that's best case. Worst case is I go to bed, I wake up, and they're super sore and, and way worse than they are right now. I'm praying that doesn't happen. Um, I'm praying that tomorrow I wake up and, and I'm feeling 100%. But if I wake up feeling like trash, my goal is to, to finish both races. Even if I have to walk everything, penalty loop and all that stuff. I want to finish the races healthy that is the plan <clears throat> but i'm probably gonna get to bed here like asap because i need to get some sleep and hopefully i'll wake up feeling better i'm gonna take more motrin to cut back on some of this inflammation and then i may even wake up and ice my shoulders depending on how they feel but comment below if you guys actually have the the same thoughts after a spartan race like is if you're never going to do it again because my thoughts after the beast i'm like i'm never going to do the beast again that's just too much too taxing and i said that i remember saying that and i'm saying it again after this beast but all I keep telling myself is tomorrow I only got technically nine total miles. Even if I do the penalty loop, I might have 10 or 11 miles. That's a lot of miles now that I think about it. We'll see. We'll see how I wake up. But anyways, I'm going to go to bed. I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. Good morning. I am awake and ready to tackle day two of the trifecta weekend. As of right now, I feel like I've got hit by a truck. Not a mega truck. Maybe like a pickup truck. Maybe like my truck. Um, I ate. I stretched. And I'm feeling good. I just keep telling myself, just I just got to run the race. When it comes to the obstacles, I will be leaving my ego here. And I will possibly doing, be doing more penalty loops than I'd like to. My shoulders feel a little stiff. So that is a concern. But we shall see. Bag is prepped. About seven o'clock, so we're gonna. I'm gonna go load the truck, and I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my parents, and be on our way. Day number two, going down. All checked in for day two. Say hi, mom. Hi. <laughs> Say hi, dad. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> we're all checked in. Tuna and Cassie went to the park, and I'm gonna get warmed up. I can get more of a menu though. Ugh. He groans. I know. I know. I sound like a 50 year old man. So this is the venue. Starting line is over there. Finish line is right here. It's a beautiful day. The only downfall is it is still windy. So there is a bunch of wind. It's like 74 degrees. Uh, I'm not as stiff as I was this morning, so that's good. So like I said, I'm probably gonna loosen up, maybe do a light jog somewhere. I feel like I got about 45 minutes before my race starts. And then it's go time. It's time to kick the tires and light the fires, Big Daddy. Start line Armageddon over that start line wall. You are Spartan Warriors and as Let's go! I think y'all a little bit right? I know, I know. Have a good race, guys.
Say hi, Daddy. When he comes over this hill, baby, you'll see him better. Here he comes. Say hi, baby. Say hi, Daddy.
So sparring weekend is officially done. It is 7.30 on Sunday night. Um, I'm gonna recap today's races. So the two races I did today, if you can't tell, I'm tired. I'm ready to go to bed. My right shoulder is killing me. Um, very stiff. I don't think it's injured. I think it's just very tight. My left shoulder is still a little sore. My feet feel a lot better today, so that's good. Let's do a recap, So, because I got my times too. So I will read to you guys my official times and let you guys know if I beat my previous records. Let's start with the Spartan Super. So the Spartan Super was my first race today. It was 10 miles, or 10 miles, six miles, 25 obstacles. This one felt good. There was, I, I had to, I skipped the beater. I didn't even, I didn't even tr attempt it. I just went straight for the penalty loop. That's the thing about this course, pretty much, I didn't realize until today, some of the obstacles you had an option, either a penalty loop or a, uh, you could do the burpees. I only realized that, I actually realized it when I was doing the sprint, I saw uh, um, someone doing burpees and I didn't think you did burpees on the course, but now they actually give you the choice. You can either run a penalty loop or you can do the burpees, so anyways. Uh, beater, I went straight into the burpees. I did. I was able to do the stairway to Sparta, which that one, a tip for that one, if you can do pull-ups, a strict pull-up, um, how you can train for that, I was thinking about this as I was running around the course. If you have one of those extension ladders, meaning the ladders that like when you pull them down, ones that firefighters use and they go all the way up, if you want to practice that or being able to pull like yourself up basically like a, light, a legless ladder climb, that's how you can train. If you leaned one of those ladders against the, your roof, made sure it was very secure, if this was the side that you climb up to climb with your feet, if you jumped up and then tried to just use your arms to pull yourself up, that's basically the stairway to Sparta because everybody like takes off running at that obstacle, but if you're tall enough, you, you literally can just jump hold yourself and then I just pulled myself up and then reached for the first one and then reached and then so I just basically did a legless but that might be why my my shoulders jacked up so maybe that's not the best example and then I was uh, actually today I was not able to do the it's not the bender it's like the twister or something basically a pull-up bar but in between it <sighs> I'm tired in between it, one of them like spins. I didn't have enough momentum, so I fell, had to do a penalty loop for that. Like I said, there's probably five that I had. I did the penalty loop for. The hardest part was honestly like ch checking my ego, something that I, I, I said I was gonna do at the start, but when you come up to an obstacle and it's like a upper body, and it looks like I'll, I'm one of the bigger people on the course because a lot of these people are like endurance athletes and they're like in phenomenal shape but they probably don't weigh over 200 pounds. Um, so, and when I get up to an obstacle, I think like, oh, this is upper body strength, I should be good at it. But I didn't even like attempt it. Like there was some that I just went straight for the penalty loop. And that was kind of hard for me, cause I'm like, man, I, I kind of want to try it or I feel like I should try it. But then I also was telling myself something that I tell my students all the time. No one cares about me at the end of the day. Like, I know how harsh that sounds and it's obviously there's people that care about me, but like, at the race, no one cares about me. No one's gonna remember me. No one, like, but you gotta get out of your head. You, like, and I think Kobe Bryant said it one time, like when he was missing free throws or something, like when I skipped that that obstacle and I had this feeling like, oh, everybody's looking at me like, oh, he should be able to do that. 
now I guarantee no one was even like cared, caring about me. They were all focused on their own race. So just some thoughts that obviously go through your head, stuff that I have to work on. But um, my actually, I ended up running 7.5 miles, I think, for the this super because of all the penalty loops I did. Um, when I got to one of the obstacles, I think it was a seven foot wall and I pulled myself up, my right shoulder like did not feel good after I was running after that. So that's why I was like, you know what? When it comes to the sprint, I'm probably just gonna do all the penalty loops at the end of the day. Cause I was like, I, I, I don't wanna jack up my shoulder. My plan was to work out again on, get back into my full workout routine Tuesday and start you know, prepping for my next program I'm gonna do. But if with if my shoulder feels like it does today on Tuesday, I'm probably gonna have to probably prolong that and say, take some time off, which is not what I wanted to do. So I finished that race. As soon as I was done with that race, um, I did not want to sit. That was my strategy. I didn't want to sit. I didn't want to get comfortable. I didn't want to eat because I, I knew that, uh, especially after yesterday's race, when I got done with the sh the beast and I sat. I started getting stiff. I started just feeling weak. I was just like, I didn't want that to happen. So as soon as I got back, I basically went straight to the registration line. So um, what I learned is I was registered for the one o'clock, but I finished at I think 11.30. So I didn't want to wait for the one o'clock. So if you go to the same day registration line or something and you have your ticket already. So I had the, the sprint at one o'clock. The woman there, she basically just switched it out to the 12.15. So then I went back in, stretched, drank some electrolytes, drank some carb powder, ate a banana, um, and then pretty much just hopped back in line. Uh, and I was able to run the 12:15 sprint. Um, the 12:15 sprint was crazy because that course, since I did, my dad asked me after, he's like, "Was it easier?" It was shoot. It, it, it in comparison, it felt like a walk, and with the amount of obstacles, like obviously they took out. 10 obstacles so I only had to do 20 obstacles and it was only three miles but when I got in like a mile and a half in I was like oh my gosh like this is a baby course compared to like the other ones so psychologically it made me it feel a lot easier um, all races the biggest thing I, I did not want to stop running and I was actually able to maintain a steady pace not a fast pace but a steady pace the entire race so I actually didn't I never walked I did not walk um, any of the course in any of my races. So I was, I was super happy with that. So I finished the sprint, got all four medals. They're actually up on my wall already. I will show you. There they are. Let's see if I can zoom in for you guys. I can barely lift this. Cause there they are. So it was really dope. You got your, I'm sorry. I, I just hung them up there and my shoulders are toast. So I, I feel like, I don't feel like grabbing them off the wall. But you ended up getting four medals. You got the sprint, you got the sprint, you got the super, you got the beast, and then you get the trifecta medal. And then technically all of these three medals, you get a piece. So you come away with like five medals, four that could stand alone, and then five, the fifth one you actually put the pieces together. So now let's check out my times and see how I did. So if you, if you watched my last video, I, my goal will start with the beast. So my beast that I did on Saturday. My goal, my last beast, I ran in three hours and 29 minutes and 34 seconds. So my goal for this beast, I wanted to do it under three hours. I wanted to basically beat it by 30 minutes. So my official time for the beast, I'll put my stats up on the screen. Two hours and 50 minutes and 32 seconds. I got in the top 10 percentile of the beast super pumped about that one um again that was the one i did on saturday so that was like to kick off the weekend and that one was really tough that one was definitely the toughest race obviously this weekend then on sunday so this morning's race i did the super let's see how i did so the super last time i ran it in an hour and 50 don't touch that mama an hour and 52 minutes my goal was i wanted to do it an hour and i think i said 45 minutes so my super time for today, <laughs> you trying to come over here, Mama? Yeah. My super time for today was an hour and 31 minutes and 18 seconds. So I got in the top 14 percentile. Do they look short? Oh my gosh, Mama, I love those. No, they look cute. Are those your snack, snacky clothes? Mm-hmm. 
What does it say? Did someone say snacks? Oh, that's you. Yeah, you eat all those snacks, huh? Your hair looks so pretty. Thank you. Yeah. Can I watch this? I'm not. I'm not watching. I'm. I'm. This is the week's video. Do you want to say hi? Yeah. Okay. Let me hold on. Let me get you. Oh, Teddy. Teddy's getting too old. Yeah. Uh, hi. You're so cute. Okay. I'm just reading on my times. Okay. So that was that one. Now let's do the Spartan sprint. Did you yeah. like? Did you have fun watching Daddy today? Yeah. Yeah. You like going hi. to Spartan. All right, and then the Spartan Sprint. So my goal last time I ran that in an hour and one minute. No. Was that right? Was it an hour and one? Yeah. No, hour and four minutes and 51 seconds. So my Hi. goal was to run it in less than an hour. So my Spartan Sprint, I ran it in 51 minutes and 40 seconds, and I got the top 12 percentile. Give me a fist bump, girl. Fist bump, fist bump, fist bump. Hajamba. Java. Hajamba. She's my secret weapon. That's how I run so fast. Just kidding. I wasn't that fast. But I did get in the top 12%. So all in all, it was a very good weekend because I beat all my times that I wanted to. Um, yeah, huh? Yeah. So. Hi. <clears throat> yep. If you're thinking about doing a Spartan trifecta. The Spartan. Trifecta. A trifecta. Uh, my baby used to be Cecil. But they did so is a week. Your baby used to do Spartan races? Yeah, I got this idea what to be about six. How many Spartan races has she done? People by six, seven, eight. She did eight Spartan races? Yeah. Wow, she's a beast. She's on a whole nother level. Yeah. Hey, wait, does mommy have to blow dry your hair? Yeah. Okay, go blow dry your hair. Go blow dry your hair. Go blow dry your hair, cutie. I love you. I love you, Daddy. Thank you. Um. If you're looking at doing a Spartan Trifecta, this course has already posted for next year. So 2025, they're doing the same Spartan Trifecta in that place. If your goal is to do a Trifecta in one weekend, I highly recommend you do that course. Everybody said it's a very easy course, and it is a very easy course. Um, it still kicks your butt, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm still feeling it. I mean, it's still a huge accomplishment. I'm not taking any way, anything away from it. But there are people there that have been doing trifecta weekends before and they said this is the easier course so if it is something you have been contemplating like hey I kind of want to do one but I don't know if I'm ready I would look at the 2025 in Lake Paris because it's a it's an awesome course but that is about it for the Spartan trifecta weekend um, final thoughts closing thoughts would I do this again when I finished my last beast in Lebec I told my mom my dad and my wife I'm never gonna do a beast again. Uh, it was very hard on my body, the training was too much. I even told my dad, I said, I might do maybe the super, but I think the sprint's where it's at. So I was talking to my wife about it, and she said today, she's like, so are you done doing the beast from now on? And I said, it, it stinks because I enjoy doing the Spartan races so much. I love the environment, I love the the atmosphere, I love the, the, fa like, the people that do it. You meet some really cool people there. Um, so it's it's hard but i gotta keep telling myself like i love working out that's why i do all this stuff i like being fit i like trying to push my body mentally all that stuff um and i like if i get hurt hurt or injured then i can't do any of that so i don't know as of right now i think i might lay off the spartan for at least maybe the, the end of the year i'm saying this now it could all change like tomorrow um and i think i'm gonna switch gears and start focusing on um some deca races just because when I did the deck of strong, the deck of mile, and then when I did the deck of strong and deck of mile in the same day, I was not, I, I, I walked away like, oh, I had a really good workout, but I wasn't beat up, I wasn't injured, I didn't feel like tweaked. I mean, right now, I don't even wanna lift my shoulder. Like, that is very, very uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable, and it's probably swollen, um, or just inflamed, so I need to ice and all that stuff, but I, I didn't have any of that when I did the deca, so. I don't know. I don't know. Comment below if you guys have. If I know a lot of there are a lot of Spartans out there. Um, comment below if like after a race you feel this beat up. Um, because if you don't, then that just means I'm doing something way wrong, um, and maybe I should stay away from Spartan races. But if it is something that it's like no, after I do a Spartan race, I'm, I feel the exact same way. Then who knows? Maybe I'll get back out there. But. Anyways, I hope this video was kind of helpful for you guys. Like I said, I kind of wanted to recap, obviously show you guys what it looks like at the venue, um, and then some key takeaways like going forward, like what you can do. But 
it, it, anybody could do it at the end of the day, uh, even if you walked the entire 13 miles. If you walked the entire 13 miles and did none of the obstacles and just did all the penalty loops, no burpees, um, you would, it would probably be the equivalent of like, I'm going to take maybe a 17 mile hike because with all the penalty loops, maybe you get an extra four miles. I'm not sure. Um, but that's kind of how you could look at it. So if this is something you want to build up to, I would highly recommend it. Um, put it on your calendar, maybe next year, like I said, 2025, do the Paris, California, cause that is a phenomenal course. Um, weather was awesome besides the wind, but honestly, when I left, it was hot. It was really hot. Um, and I actually got sunburned. So anyways, I did what I want. I wanted to do. So now as of January 27th, I have done a January 28th, I have completed a trifecta weekend. And now I'm going to go eat and take a very long, go to bed for a very long time. But until next time, I will catch you guys in the next video and I will let you guys know what I will plan on doing next and how I will be shifting my programming as long as I am able to work out and my shoulder doesn't bug me. So you guys already know the motto, stay happy, stay healthy, and above all, don't be average. I will catch you guys in the next one.